say my mama raised a bitch. Nigga, your mama and dad raised a yellow freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga T.I. son say, nigga, I whoop your old ass. Now, T.I., you raising these kind of little yellow motherfuckers. You got a yellow motherfucker look how your son look. Talking about he'll jump on a 50-something year old nigga. Yo, boy, hey, you, you show T.I. them the kind of boys you got. Say, T.I., listen, if your boy jump on me, y'all will bury that yellow motherfucker. Say, T.I., listen, if your boy jump on me, y'all will bury that yellow motherfucker. Oh, my God! I shoot him right in his goddamn throat. I shoot him right in his goddamn throat. Jesus Christ. Look, I wish, I wish an 18, 19 year old nigga would jump on me. Boy, I Trayvon Martin, that little motherfucker. I swear to God. My right hand to God. I swear. What's up with your family? It's your boy, the one and only Brenda's baby. Remy L, my aunt. You are now tuned into my aunt TV. Now, you already know we're about to hit that 1K. So make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Make sure it's on all so you can be alerted and notified whenever I drop this heat. Now, what we just heard and what we've been listening to for the past year or so is the angry rant of a very, very insecure man, very feeble minded, brittle, insecure man who is projecting all of his hatred and insecurity onto the rest of the world. That's all it is. You ever notice that Charleston White, all he does is sit around and talk about who he hates, what he hates, and how he's going to destroy them and what he wants to do to destroy these people nothing good never anything good he's openly admitted to simply wanting to lure black men into his trap where he can get them to self-destruct destroy themselves be incarcerated or kill he said in himself and i can't stress this as a, enough i can't stress this enough he's a cancer he keeps saying he's a community activist when have you ever seen him around any children whenever whenever you seen him doing anything for the children i've never seen this i could be wrong but i've never seen any videos and who the fuck is allowing this man this foul mouth angry motherfucker around their children everything he's doing is out of insecurity jealousy and hatred he's jealous at the fact that he can't live the life that these so-called thugs criminals and uh misfits are living he's totally jealous of that and he's angry at the fact and insecure at the fact that he's a cripple who has no talent he can't get up and go out and make the money that they're making because he has no talent so he figured out a way to turn his hatred into a way to make money for himself and that's all this is a insecure jealous one-eyed bug-eyed crippled weirdo these rappers are on his mind all day long all day long i've never seen somebody with rappers on their mind so much other than hassan campbell him and hassan campbell now it was one thing for him to spew his anger insecurities and hatred towards rappers who are grown men that was different grown men can handle himself but now he's going after children this man is literally attacking children he threatened to shoot a child in the throat now i don't know about about you but attacking children is where I draw the line in the sand it's where it, it come on it has to be some type of integrity and morality in these situations and it seems like there's a lack of it this man is literally attacking children he's threatening to kill children he's luring people to their downfall now luring grown men to their downfall that's a different story you know you grown you should know better but now you're setting your eyes on people's children something has to give enough is enough this shit here is some of the most fucked up shit that I've ever heard. Did you listen, really listen to what this man said? And people find this shit entertaining. This shows the integrity of people. He said he was gonna shoot a child in the throat. He said he was going to Trayvon Martin him. He was going to George Zimmerman him. Now, I understand that T.I. son threatened him and I agree that T.I. son needs his little ass whooped. I fully agree with that. But he could have told that little boy 
look, if you come over here and try to swing on me or jump on me or fight me, I'ma treat you like a man. That's the same thing as saying, oh, I'm gonna shoot you in the throat, but it's respectful. You went and disrespected another child that was murdered. You're making a joke out of a child being murdered for no reason, just for being black. He thinks shit like that is funny because he's a white supremacist. Charleston White is a white supremacist. Look at the things that he says. Listen to his rhetoric. He calls black women nappy head hoes, calls black men negroes and niggas. He says he hates rappers and gangbangers. He says he purposely wants to make these people die. He wants to kill these people or get them all locked up. That is a cancer. That's destructive. I understand, yeah, you don't like gangbangers because they're killing each other and sometimes they kill innocent people. That's understandable. But there's a there's there's totally different ways of going about that. If you really wanted to stop gang violence and stop that, you wouldn't be on the internet saying the outrageous shit that you say just for attention. Because you're saying it for attention. Why else would you say some disrespectful shit like that? Why would you drag Trayvon Martin into it? A, a dead child that has absolutely nothing to do with the situation. Why else would you drag him into it? Why would you call yourself George Zimmerman? Because he's on the hunt to kill niggas. That's all he wants to do. I've said this before in my previous videos. All he wants to do is he wants he's trying to provoke celebrities and other famous black men into violence so he can get them to throw their lives away or, or even worse get them killed that's his mindset that's what he wants and people keep interviewing him like this shows the integrity of these niggas on youtube this man constantly disrespects dead people of the black community dead people of the black community respected dead people who, who never did anything wrong with him and people sit there and interview him and allow him to say these things on their platform and then put it out and promote him you niggas are that interview him you no different you guys are no different y'all are just like him and the people that watch him and think that he's entertaining you just as fucked up as him too saying that he's going to trayvon martin someone and he wants to get black men killed or locked up you if you find that entertaining that shows what type of in integrity you got that shows what type of person you are and it's finally got to a point which i predicted that this man can't go nowhere without somebody wanting to take his fucking head off and like i predicted texas is not backing it and how dare he talk about ti uh being accused of certain things with women i don't know all the details but he was accused of you know doing some unthinkable things to women when charleston white admitted on camera that he raped white women in texas he's admitted that and the crazy thing about it is he acts all tough big and bad and then when somebody ready to jump on his ass all of a sudden he's a 50 year old senior citizen he's a fucking hypocrite i told you they follow these three guidelines six nine made it up charleston white young Farrell, hassan campbell they all follow it these three guidelines to stay popular and trending hypocritical ignorance disrespect of dead people or well well respected people and shock value that's all they do that's all they do there's no integrity in this game anymore in the black community I'm, I'm kind of ashamed because there's so many people that are allowing him on their platform to blatantly say the fucked up shit that he says you niggas are no different and if he ever come to philly niggas is waiting for him I, this ain't no threat for me but i know some niggas that's waiting for that nigga if he ever come to philly i'll tell you that i'll tell you that but that's just my humble opinion let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section don't forget we are trying to hit that 1k so like share subscribe hit that notification bell and make sure it's on all it's your boy the one and only brenda's baby remy l my eye you were just tuned into my eye tv i see y'all when i see y'all until then you better be careful there little buddy cocaine is a hell of a drug <laughs> <laughs> I do cocaine, don't tell nobody. <laughs>